Time for another beard video, and today we're going to talk about wooden combs. Stay tuned. Hi folks, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and we're doing another beard series video today. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching. Um, today we're going to be talking about specifically wooden combs, kind of the pros and cons uh, of those and a little bit about my experience with them. Uh, usually you'll see um, wooden combs just kind of like three different shapes that you'll see. Uh, one kind of looks like these two um, and they've got larger spaces in between. So the tines there are larger and there's a lot of sp space in between. All right. Uh, so that's one style. Another one's a little bit more uh, like horseshoe shaped and usually it's kind of a more natural color not quite as dark of wood uh, and then there's one that's kind of like it's got two uh, different kind of tines on it or teeth on it you've got the, the wider ones on one side and then kind of the handles in the middle and then on the other side you've got thinner ones okay so those are usually about the three options that you'll see uh, pros and cons of them uh, the pro is it won't snag your beard uh, quite as much because it's um, it's wider and I will say that with a big caveat because I don't usually like wooden combs because they snag my beard and I tried to figure out why that was and then I started looking really close and if you'll look close at this one there's a right angle in it right down here where it ends so you'll start off it'll be okay and then you'll dig in too far or angle a little bit and it'll snag so anytime that there's uh, you've got uh, right angles there. You've got uh, sharp corners. Uh, if you press that against the, your, um, your hair and you kind of move it, it's going to have a tendency or a possibility of snagging. All right. Uh, another reason I think it snags is because when I feel this, it's relatively smooth, but I can still feel like the, the grain and stuff in it. Um, so it's not quite mirror finish. I've got one that I ordered that's Another thing about this is if you're just growing out your beard and you get a, a comb like this, you're going to be thinking, what in the world is that ever going to be useful for it? Because you don't have enough hair for this to do a lot of good. Um, but this one is like a mirror smooth. It's like a uh, feeling of uh, maybe if I go throw this cabinet back here. All right. It's, it's feels smooth. It's kind of a, got a finish to it and you see a little bit of a shine to it. OK, uh, on ones like this, it wasn't quite like that. And I found that's kind of lends to snagging. Uh, there is an adjustment period uh, where if it takes a little while to kind of get the, your beard products kind of get worked in and it smooths itself out a little bit. But in, in general, I don't uh, I don't use these a ton. I use this one uh, at home usually once a day, and that's when I actually go the other direction. Okay, when I when I comb it out. Uh, kind of fluff it out, uh, try to get all the snags and stuff out of it before I comb it back down straight. That's what I use that one for. I got it off Amazon. And you'll see a lot of beard uh, product companies have these, but they're really the same. To, to me, it looks like they've, uh, most of them don't really make them uh, themselves. They kind of find it wholesale and they have it as part of uh, something that they sell. Uh, some companies do hand make them themselves. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you might want to contact the company to see, do you really make these yourself or do you just buy them in bulk to be able to sell them on your website uh, just so you can have a full line of products? Um, the other thing I don't like about these is I've got, you know, I've got a larger mustache and I need to comb my mustache a lot. A, a comb like this uh, is too wide really to do anything much with my mustache. So I usually tend to use uh, a plastic comb instead uh, and I'll show you that on my next video maybe uh, but they, they do have one that's got narrow wooden teeth on the other side uh, I had one of those but they're they're fragile guys I dropped that one on the on the floor and it it cracked there so it broke the end of it broke off so that's it you kind of you've got wood that can be nice and sturdy uh, that's why these are really thick okay however uh, wherever the thin spots, the weak spots are, you, you can have a tendency to break them, whether you drop them or if you have them in your pocket, uh, you get too much pressure on them and they will break on you. All right. So a little bit there about wooden combs, kind of some pros and cons. Um, and, and like I said, if you're just growing your beard out, 
you may think you'll never use it. Uh, don't ever throw anything away that you get, like maybe you buy a kit or something. If you wait around long enough, it'll kind of cycle around. You'll be able to use it again. You'll go, oh, okay, this worked now. It didn't work two months ago, but now it's working a lot better. All right, so let me know what you think about wooden combs. Is that your go-to? Do you carry, carry one of these in your pocket all the time, or do you carry a plastic comb? All right, thanks.